Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back. Hello fellow farmers, welcome back to Richie's Hollow. Welcome back to episode 3. In this episode, we are going to look at some stone processing. We are finally going to look at the heat plant, <laughs> which I forgot the last time around. Sorry about that. And we're also going to plant uh, an area up at the sawmill with a lot of new trees. Yep, we are going to re-establish what we've cut down. I know there's a lot of trees on this map, but you know, it feels good to give something back to the nature, so to speak. I know it's a simulator, but yeah. It's just the way I feel about it. So, I would like uh, like your feedback on something. I would like your feedback uh, on the flowcharts. Uh, last time, in the last episode, uh, I thought that it became a little dull, uh, me walking through the, the flowcharts like that. But on the other hand, I'm not really sure how to do it else. So please let me know in the comment sections below, what, uh, what do you like? Uh, how do you want me to explain it for you? And do you want me to explain it to you at all? Right. Well, let's get busy, shall we? What I want to start with right off the bat here is uh, continue to chop all these trees down that see up at the sawmill. And then we're gonna convert all this land into uh, a field. And then we're gonna, I don't know, cultivate it. We're gonna plow it, of course, and cultivate it. And then we're gonna plant some saplings. I don't think it's a game mechanic that if you fertilize and uh, you put lime on the field, then the trees grow faster or they grow bigger. You get more wood chips out of uh, each tree. I don't think it's a in-game thing, but I would like to think so. Uh, so far, I made one million for selling all the wood chips on these trees I've chopped down so far. So it's pretty profitable. And either I will do a cut or I will do a time lapse. Just one thing I will show you. It's this one. It's a good old bio builds uh, mulcher. It's one of my favorite mods. It's so awesome. So uh, I will see you. Uh, I'll see you when this old area has been uh, transformed. Let's just say it like that. All right.
All right, just to recap a little bit here, we uh, cleared all the area, we uh, created new fields, got cultivated, it got seeded or planted with grass, and on top of that, all the saplings you can just about see here in the distance. Uh, by the way, I'm just standing on the uh, the bridge pillar as you do. Um, yeah, I said earlier, you know, the introduction. Uh, of this episode, there's a lot of trees on the map, so why would you even bother planting new trees? Well, because giving something back, right? Um, yeah, so that took a long time. It took about four hours to clean all this up. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't mind. I had a good time, and we earned a lot of money. I think it was up to, like, almost, I think it was 5.2 million, uh, monies at some point and then we just uh yeah in distance let just i get the flight mode on so we bought a little uh something and uh also for future field work bought the uh db120 um john deere cedar and a huge plow and also bought the uh john deere was it r9 tractor and New Holland R9 as well. Is it R9? I don't remember. I never remember what they're called. T9. T9, of course. And John DSD R9. RX9. Sorry about that. Yep, there we go. And the flexi coil. Gotta get those names right. Gotta get those names right. So we're gonna use that for future field work. And I think that's about it. All the. Uh, lumber factories uh, filled up with logs and uh, things are just ticking away nice and easy over here everything is more or less packed up so that's pretty wonderful even the kegs and the glass and the bottles over here they are almost filled up that's really lovely to see cool cool so everything's ready for future production Right, we have a mission over at the heating plant. Next thing on the agenda. So see you there very shortly. Right, the heating plant. Well, here's a little bit of a cheat. Um, we need some straw down here. Don't really have any straw. So we'll just pretend it's uh, bought in, so to speak. And straw, you can, of course, you can buy the bales in the shop. That's pretty expensive. Or you can get it from contracts. Uh, by using a little uh, straw collecting add-on and I did that let's just say it like that <laughs> I got them out but you know we just pretend that we did a contract and got a lot of straw for that okay and furthermore down here we're gonna need some wood chips and we're gonna need some coal well we got that wood chips straw and coal so you're gonna drop it all off here and um, for all the resources you deliver down here at the heating plant, you'll get a certain percent of income. So if you get only straw down here, you get 33% of an amount. If you get wood chips and straw, you get 66%. And if you get coal on top of that, you'll get 100% all in all. Well, actually it's, you know, 33.33.33.33333. All in total, it's it's 100%, one third each resource okay and um, when that gets going it will produce as i said some income and it will produce uh, it will spawn 50 pallets of uh, trash all around the map it says and the trash spawns right here now once it gets going something pretty cool is happening and we also need the garbage truck uh, we're gonna buy that in the shop uh, just in a few seconds Right, further on, we got something uh, something here. And what is that? What could that be? Well, actually, I, uh, I came so far that it's uh, water. That's it. Uh, I was very intrigued because this looked like some kind of a billboard that's uh, closed. I mean, don't close things put out like that. It makes me insanely curious what's behind that. Um, so far, it's, it's water. Uh, don't know if that's gonna come something else interesting later on. I'm not sure. You never know with Old Man 101. He's got some intriguing things 
hidden away up his sleeve. They will always aim for a surprise or a treat when least you expect it. Well, let's um let's load this bad boy up. First we got the cone. And then we got the strong. And then we got the wood chips. Just gonna un let this undo for a while. You can see it's ticking up here and it's already started producing some lovely, lovely heat. So while we're waiting, then we can just go down to the shop. You go in here in the uh, rich, these hollow muds section and we're gonna find the Kenworth day cap. Because that's what, well, at least I suggest you're gonna use. I just gonna make it as is, and then we're gonna need this chipper on. Let's way down the line around here. Slide on chipper trash. There we go. Down here at the shop. Yeah, it's gonna slide it on like that. And we are ready to pick up trash. So where do we find all this trash? Well, most of your factories produce this trash. And I think I saw something on the map, on the PDA map. Just by pure coincidence. I'm not sure it's supposed to function like that, but I'm pretty sure as well. <laughs> um, if you zoom in. I'll just take a look around here you can see these green dots there's a green little square there uh, this should looks like there's some green square right there there's a green square there a green square down there uh, I mean some of the places I should suspect should have green squares as well uh, some green thingies there and where else over here the slaughterhouse makes sense there's a green square there uh, and up here the steelworks yep there's this green square there as well so what i came to realize is all those places that got that green green square also have a pickup point for trash if there's more i don't know probably is but at least that gives you some kind of indication that those places you can go pick up trash. So that's pretty awesome. If it's intended, brilliant. If not, well, still brilliant. <laughs> um, so that's uh, that's one way to uh, to get around it. And uh, well, let's go up to the heating plant and see if some uh, trash has been produced and what we're gonna do about it. But we're still a little way to go if we want to keep it. Like that. This is the this is the income from the heating plant. So the total income per day for the heating plant running max out that's just about 30,000 so I would just reckon that it's uh, 10,000 for each of the product that you that you put in here from the production line you'll get a surplus of wood chips and from doing uh, field work you're most definitely gonna get sooner or later a uh, surplus of straw so uh, wood chips and straw going down here that's uh, some extra plus 20,000 per day if you can keep it up at the max uh, just in the pocket that's uh, pretty awesome that's a good income all right let's see what we can do about this just drive up to the uh, to the trash bin here and just hit R as uh, filling any other and there we go the trash has been loaded that is pretty awesome and you're just gonna drive around for fam from factory to factory and uh, pick up the trash and when you're done 
what are you gonna do about it? Well, I should suspect there's a cell point in here that's gonna take care of it. And we just have to find it. So, what icon does look like trash? <laughs> um, let me see. All the way down to the bottom. And there we go. There's the trash icon. We need to go to Bear County Wastes Removal. And where in the world is that? Well, should be somewhere. It's all the way up in the corner. All the way up here. So why don't we go take a look at that? Right and all the way up here. We got the waste removal site. Look at this. This is so cool. Yep. And with any other places on the map, you need to buy it. And we're gonna do that. That's pretty expensive. Just letting you know. That's one million, so you might want to save up to be able to buy that one sooner or later. Because sooner or later you're gonna get rid of the trash. Waste removal, scrap metal, Porter John's rentals. Alright. Now there's a little bonus up here, I can see. Let's just go here and... Uh, just sell that, we got 1000, how much is that gonna give us? Well, almost 1 to 1, 816. That's not bad. And uh, let's just remove that green spot there. Now, the little bonus here is we've got a mine full of rock salt, I should think it is. Is it not? Or is it gravel? I'm not really sure. I think it's gravel. So uh, once you buy this removal site up here, this waste site, you got access to that mine and you can sell it all. I think that should give a good income. So it's not wasted, it's just transformed into uh, mining products. That's also a strategy you can use, it's pretty awesome. But yeah, we got rid of the trash. And now to something completely different. The stone processing. Right, the stone processing. You say, where is that located? Well, we already saw that in the first episode, actually. I didn't know what it was then, but now I do. Thank you. Going into a magical PDA, and we can take a look here. Around field number 9 and 8, we got here the stone processing. And, as always, we need to buy it before we can do anything about it. And, I off in fact, I already did. It's only 62,000, so you can get that going pretty easily. If you haven't spent all your money on something else. The stone processing looks pretty awesome. We got some spawn points there, and we got some unload thing point here. And what do we need here? We need pallets. We need diesel, we need water, we need some stones, some sand, and some gravel. Alright, so the stones going in here is going to be transported up there. Sand is going to go in there. And the gravel is going into there. Water, just here, as you can hear. Oh great, now I need to go pee. And the diesel goes here. And the last pallets is going uh, just around here, going to be put on those. But there's a little difference here, and um, I kind of looked into the spawn boxes and things like that. It's a little different than the other places on this map, because the diesel is not supposed to be unloaded here. It also unloads here. Same goes for the water. Actually, same goes with everything. Gold is being produced. Comes out here. Spawns on a single pallet. It's quite valuable. We got lime and we got the uh, carbonate coming out here. And we got sewer pipes being produced and spawned over here. 
And what is these planters? Yeah, the planters spawn here. And the sewer pipes, they spawn here. I think that's it. Some more? Nope, that's it. That's pretty much. And it's pretty cool. So, we need some... Some mining products. We need to take care of that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go for that. Sand coming up. Up, oh, break. Where goes the gravel? I think the water is done. Water is not accepted here. Um, I beg to differ, my friend. Really? Hmm. Aha, water needs to go not on the grid. There we go. That was new to me. That was news to me. So, well, that's, that's okay. Alright, water's coming in. Well, it's going pretty fast. We can go get the diesel pretty soon as well. And diesel on its way. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. What well, are you done? Are you done with the with the gravel? Yeah, more or less. Then we need some stone. Hey. Oh, one go. And the last ingredients. Stone. Uh well, that's a long drive. Well, see you soon. We made it back in one piece. And the final ingredients to get the stone processing up running is the uh, stones. Oy. I'm happy it's not my uh, trailer. That should be it. Oh no, we need pallets. Oh yeah, 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 pallets. Okay, well, going for some pallets. Oh yeah, everything has been back up here at the lumber yard factories. Because we skipped the day in the process of the heating plant. So we should have enough pallets. Uh, can we just under? Thank you. I should have gotten a little bit closer. That's unfortunate. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want anything else but pallets. Last two. There we go. I really like this exact amount of spawn points for number of pallets that's gonna go on the uh, auto load. Is that a coincidence? No, I hardly think not. Been giving, giving some deep thoughts about that. Pretty awesome. Right, uh, I think it's just straight ahead, isn't it? Right, just ahead. He's from here. And that should be all of it. Start the stone processing up. Oh, look at all that traffic. Alright, a little trick I got here is uh, if you're in doubt where to unload and load stuff, then push F5 on your keyboard. Then you get something to look like that. That can be pretty overwhelming at first. What you want to look for is uh, the kind of color boxes that you'll find on the truck and the trailer, and also on the ground in front of you, because we uh, kind of knew that that's where the all the products needs to be unloaded and um, so if we go in here then we can unload the resources here there we go Ta -da! and as you can see the uh, the red objects we're not interested in those and neither there were some orange objects not interested in those either just ignore them though just ignore those but here you can see spawn points that's what we're interested in i mean this is pretty obvious right you can see that and also over here and for the fill types for the lime and the calcium we want to look look after some uh, some vertical things 
that's showing where uh, the fill site will drop and that's exactly right there so that's for your lime and for your calcium and yeah and you can see the gold is spawning right here so that'll give you an indication of what's going on and then you just press F5 again three times one two three and then you're back to completely normal if you're in doubt use that as a hint I do that sometimes if I'm completely for battle and don't know what's going on then I'm just using F5 or else I just like to use a little trial and error because that's what I like uh, but I know some of you don't want to spend a lot of time of using trial and error just want to get down to business that's perfectly fine so use F5 if you're in doubt a hint of the episode Right, we got stone crossing thing up going, that's pretty awesome. And as we just saw, we just got the planters going. Gold is being produced, yep. That's the planters, that's pretty awesome. And that's the sewer pipes. I haven't found any use for them yet. Somebody might buy them. And also here we got the trash. And that's already full. 100% full. Really? That was fast. By pure coincidence, I stumbled upon something. And that was when I was in the uh, global script. And I was looking through to find a factory in here. And then suddenly my eyes fell on that one. The warehouse one. I don't remember to have anything to do with warehouse one. Where is warehouse one? That's up here near the lumberyard things we have. And what can that do? Well, actually, it stores lumber, firewood, cartons, barrels, pallets, empty crates, nails, rings, steel, and all that stuff we're producing up there. That is pretty awesome. I didn't know that at all. I thought, well, just gonna leave things as they are because I couldn't find any warehouses. So I guess that's a little bit of a surprise, one of the surprises, so uh, I mean we can go up and take a look to see where it is, because I have no idea how it looks like. Yeah, up here at the lumber mill we got a few trailers that's ready to go, we got some drill pipes for uh, the refinery to make some uh, raw oil, more crude oil, and we got some firewood we can sell to get some more money. Well, we got 2 million now, so it's not crucial right now. And here's the... That's not a rowboat, if I were, that's the rowboat. Come on, rowboat there. Look at how awesome this is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Just stack them. Yep, I think we got loads, loads of boats. Uh -huh. Still, don't we? Yeah. Ah, more or less, we got, we got a few. Oh, what's the issue with you? What do you need? You need... Ah... You need somebody to take care of the surfboards. They're blocked up. Okay, well, somebody will be with you shortly. I can't keep up. Uh, right. Why were we up here? Oh yeah, the, uh, the warehouse. I think it's this one over here. I am not sure. But I think it is. It would make sense, wouldn't it? I don't think we can get in. Yep, warehouse one. Can we get in? Hello? Nope. Hmm. Nobody home. Well, at least here we can store steel. Uh, stop it. We can store steel, rings, nails, empty crates, pallets, barrels, cartons, firewood, and lumber. And how much of these? Five million. Well, that should get you going for quite some time, right? Wow. Okay, well, just mass produce, if you like. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Um, so that's at least one of the warehouses that I am aware of. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if there's anything else on the map. It might be revealed when you uh, when you buy the certain land. Then it gets revealed in the Global Script Company uh, overview. I think it will. Um, so far I've only seen this warehouse one. Yeah. 
well if I discover anything else then uh, I will surely let you know and uh, please also let me know if you got some tips and tricks you can find around the map because there's a lot of things hidden around this map I know that for sure I found a few but we're getting into that a little bit later hey look at this things have grown looking pretty snazzy from up here and sooner or later all these small saplings have will have become big juicy wood choppy trees that's awesome and all the spawn spawn points all the products is backing up on the lumber yards over here and we now found out that there's a little warehouse just there in the middle over here then we can just haul our products over there for safer keeping we got some trucks ready to go to the various factories out in the big big world here and we got new equipment we looked into the heat plant and we got the stone processing going and everything is pretty awesome tickety boo so what i want to wrap up this episode is just to take a look at the flowchart for the stone processing just a quick little recap yeah as and as i have mentioned in the description then i will update these flowcharts continuously as we're getting uh, wiser and smarter and finds way to depict it better and improve the graphics because there's so many things to consider and i don't know half of it right now but uh, all that to come and uh, we got the stone pressing thing right here as we just discovered it needs gravel sandstone water diesel and pallets and of course most of these products you'll get from the mines in return we're gonna get some lime i guess we're gonna use that for our fields only then we're gonna get some carbonate and carbonate needs to go into some beverage processing and at least for making some sugar or some soda soda pops i should think and uh, that's about it as i know for now gold well gold can be sold in the bank and it's gonna give you a pretty good amount of money the planters we can sell and the sewer pipes as well sewer pipes can be sold at lowe's or at ace for a pretty good amount of money and the planters also at lowe's at 1000 per each wow okay so that that will bring in a truckload will bring in twenty thousand. hmm really cool Oh, the stone, the grill, normal, garden swings, hmm, and that's something to do with the Ace, or the Acme Corporation, hmm, I think so, that's gonna be intriguing, hmm, interesting, well, so, well that said, I think we have reached the end of this episode next time around the fun begins then everything's gonna explode let me just tell you that oh yes 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 because next time around we're going to focus a little on what's going on down here at the beach site uh well not at the beach site it's down here but what's going on just around here we need to look into the seat and the feet and the stations and the biogas plants down here there's some uh, tmr there's some pig food producing, some seed production, and we also want to look into how to get some hens and some bees, and this is where all the fun starts, because now we can't avoid it anymore. We can't avoid going into the farming perspective of uh, Farming Simulator <laughs> 19. Uh, now we got a good overview of all the products, and now we're going into all the fruit types. Uh, to be able to move on and that's pretty awesome i really like that and now it's getting so complicated as it wasn't enough but oh no you haven't seen anything yet it's gonna be even more it's gonna be even more 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 i tell you but i really love it i do love it so much and a lot and even on top of that so thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it and until next time please take care stay safe and be cool See you soon on Richie Hollow.